right, everybody. Wanted to show you the RV camp here, as you can see. There's the uh, front. I'm gonna go towards the back here, as you see the open area around there. Now, I've been uh, working on the defenses around the perimeter lately. It's a work in progress, but uh, it's coming out pretty, it's turning out pretty well. Now, um, I'm not going to film any of the residents because, uh, you know, respect for privacy and all that stuff and all that stuff. Anyway, um, if you're wondering about the rent here, that's something you will have to discuss with the person who owns the property. Uh, I'm not the guy to discuss that with. Now then, there is several projects that I'm going to be working on that is uh, shielding related. One of them in particular is going to be trying to find a useful method for people to be able to just shield their shoes because it seems like that's one part of our bodies that we uh, never really, uh, you know, try to shield. It's always either the legs or the, uh, you know, the torso, the abdomen, the head, the ears, all that stuff, the eyes. But no, people rarely ever... Um, shield their you know try to ground themselves on their feet and the thing is is that look down here all that soil all of that potential to ground yourself to basically de uh, program yourself from their mess but you want to know what the problem is why people can't ground well if you're in the city you're going to be dealing with a lot of concrete and not only are you dealing with a lot of concrete you're dealing with a lot of uh underground wiring which also interferes with that not to mention the cell phone towers the satellites or the satellite dishes the uh the uh, wi-fi nodes that are just around every damn block and of course the soles of your shoes too which is all rubber and whatnot blocking you from all that good energy they do sell shoes uh that are you know that are earth friendly that do help you ground they do sell those out there but um, they also, there have been people who have been trying to ground. Uh, if you were to, uh, you know, you got to be way out of the city if you're looking to ground yourself, man. Now, I wanted to uh, start trying to figure out how to ground the uh, campers. I've been looking up information about that, but it seems like the people who show this information, like, they, they just show the crap already set up. They never want to freaking show. they never want to show the process of actually putting it together that's the problem that i've been having lately if anybody has any suggestions for that please let me know because that would be very helpful now one of the other projects i was thinking i'm not setting this in stone due to the complications i'm well aware that there are ti's who are hurting on cash and stuff like that who are in bad times i understand all of that but what i was thinking of doing was setting up and this is a this is just a proposal you know just let me know what you think in the comic section i was thinking of actually coming up with the patreon and with this patreon uh it would be like a uh an exchange service while i would teach people you know fellow ti's how to make shielding and they would be able to actually you know the ti's who are here would be able to actually make some revenue for that you know for their services of uh the stuff that they were making as a result now again this doesn't mean i'm guaranteeing anything that i'm going to actually go through with this because you got to understand there's also complications with this too the hacking the fact that uh you know can you even trust the mail service can you even trust the people distributing the actual uh, parts for the stuff there's just so much that plays a part in all this you know